Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make some old-fashioned gingerbread. This is a great holiday treat. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe will be listed in the information box below where you can find it on the website. The ingredients are all-purpose flour, butter, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, ground cloves, salt, baking soda, egg, granulated sugar, and molasses. You're also going to need some hot water, but we'll get that later. You're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you'll need a 9-inch square baking pan that you've either sprayed with a cooking spray that has uh, the flour in it or that you have greased and floured. To start the recipe, I have my flour in this big bowl, and I'm going to take all of these ingredients, which are the spices, the salt, and the baking soda, and mix those in, and we're just going to whisk it all together to incorporate it. I'm going to set this aside. I have my salt and butter in this big bowl, and I'm going to add my sugar, and I'm going to use my electric mixer and cream this together. Now I'm going to add the egg. Okay, and now it's time to add our molasses. I'm just going to blend this together. And now we're going to take our dry mixture and we're going to mix this in. Okay, so that's all incorporated, so I'm going to get this batter off of my beaters here. And now, I'm going to take my hot water and pour it in and stir it until it's all incorporated. Okay, so my hot water is all stirred in, and now it's time to pour it into our prepared pan. Okay, get it all out of there. This smells really good. Okay, so now the next step is to put this in our preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. My gingerbread cooked for 55 minutes. I've just taken it out of the oven and put it on this cooling tray. I'm going to let it sit in the pan and cool completely before I cut it. My gingerbread has cooled. So before I cut it, what I want to do is I want to take some confectioner's sugar and I just want to sprinkle it all over the top. Just like that. And that just adds a little contrast to it and makes it pretty. And I'm going to cut it and show you a piece. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little square to show you what this looks like. So this is old-fashioned gingerbread. I hope you enjoy it.